So, <clears throat> I thought I'd save this video to put up to the weekend. So I thought no better than coming out at weekend and recording it so it's still fresh for myself. And this bit of woodland, if you're subscribed to my channel, you've you've probably seen it a lot within videos. Now, over the years, I've seen a lot of damage getting done to the woodland, let's say. You know, a lot of random fire pits coming up everywhere. I think over the weekend I put a video on of the tents left over and the fire pit there. And I took all the tents away, cleaned it up. Like I said, I was going to do in that other video. Another weekend, well, I think last week sometime, I uploaded a video, I were hammock camping. And someone asked me, why are you not in that little bit of private woodland? Well, the story is, uh, it no longer belongs to the farmer, so I have to apply to the new owners to come here and camp. But the biggest problem is, I've said a lot on this on this channel when I've been here sometimes, but there is a school not far from here, and the school are going to be using this woodland a lot more for the kids. I'll show you some proof of that. And it's these. So apparently what we're going on is they've been down to the woodland the school and they've been hiding these in the woods and then the kids have to go find them. Now I totally understand where people are coming from with this because it is a little bit of woodland and it's ideal for school activities. So if it means stopping camping here, well that's what it will mean. You know, if it's gonna get the young kids outdoors enjoying this uh, woodland, and they can come down here in safety, you know, and not have to worry about coming over, falling over any glass bottles. I don't leave glass bottles around, but what I do believe is people might see other people camping on here and then think, oh, I'll go get my mates and camp on there. So what we're gonna be doing is all around the edge, they're gonna be putting a bigger fence up, some barbed wire and stuff like that. And it's only gonna be accessible from one point. And to get to that one point, you do have to go through the school and round it all, so it would be difficult to get in now anyway. Uh, one thing I can still keep doing is putting the trail cameras out. Now, this is the only trail camera I've got left. I want to buy more. And the idea of that is I can still come down, place the trail cameras in this woodland, as long as I email the pictures to the school so the kids can see exactly what is in here when, you know, obviously they're not going to be able to come down through daytime when it's nice weather and they're going to have like deers running around and foxes and stuff like that because animals will nine times out of ten scatter so if I can catch them on this I will email it to the school because I like the idea of that that is probably one bonus about it if I want to continue trail cameraing then I've got somewhere to do it but I think the wildlife will be pretty the same in most videos I believe this is more down to the young kids coming in trashing it and leaving it in a mess and people want to come down and clean it up and stuff like that. I don't know what's here every weekend do I but in my art I've got other places I can go camping in my art for me uh, I've got other places I can go camping now I am a little bit emotional about it somebody's gonna say it's just a bit of woodland shut up but I've spent many nights here with Scott Dan my daughter Scots kids, you know, doing little family camps and stuff. I've spent many times here in all weathers. But you know what? Sometimes a change is probably, you know, good for the best, if that's what you call it. It's not the end of my channel. Not my mouth shut. It's the end of being here in this bit of woodland. Just put these back. Pull me pants up a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's been a nice little place to come down, just chill out this, and like I said, do a lot of camping and things like that. But. For this woodland, I think for the summertime, it's a definitely 
somewhere I can't come down now. I can apply to the new person who's going to be taking over if I want to do. And I think you can guess the new person who's taking over is going to be the school. So I can apply to the school if I want to do. But what my idea with that is if I continue getting trail camera footage, sending the videos, the pictures to the school, over time they might say, you know, you can come back on it if you want. Once all the noises drop down from people coming, trashing the place and stuff like that. Yeah, so one idea I do have is I've got another piece of woodland that I've been eyeing up. I might go see if I can get the permission there. And somebody always says to me, how do you get the permission? You basically just got to go ask. There's no point beating it around bush. Knock on the doors, wait to see me in the tractors and just ask them, look, do you mind if I uh, spend a couple of nights in your woodland by myself? But and then... You know, we don't want it leading to this sort of that thing, do we? It's the end of this place. But not the end of the channel. I do have a, another... Ouch! Right on, bloody head. Ugh. Ow! Yeah, I do have a another little tent video to upload, but I thought... I put this on first. Amazing how quick someone picked up actually, but we haven't been here for a while. So yeah, it's the end of this place. I believe until the winter anyway, but yeah, I might just forget it. Stick the trail cameras up like she said I could, and then just move on, find new locations. So if it's the first time you're watching me, you want to see do what I do actually get up to, press this here, you better subscribe to my channel. If you're a long term viewing my channel, you know how much I've enjoyed here. Thanks for watching, I'll share the video here for you.